Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück. Hier ist wieder Bea von gamers-palace.de und ich habe... Wir haben tatsächlich gerade Grimoire gefunden. Allerdings möchte sie uns... Oh! Kacke! This wasn't planned. Eigentlich wollte ich nur in die Kiste gucken und dann da unten diese Katzpunkte sammeln. Mann! Beziehungsweise bevor wir der Story weiterfolgen, schnappen wir uns natürlich da drüben den kleinen Typi, der denkt, der ist ein starkes Gegner. Ich wollte äh, Pokémon sagen, aber... Oh. Der ist ja hübsch. Hi, was bist denn du? Oh, okay. So ist es noch mal eine Glückshab hier. Krass. Wir machen hier Schaden, aber irgendwie sie ist so äh, gar nicht beeindruckt davon. Hallo, ich will hier meinen coolen Angriff machen. So. Du mal nicht Laffy's halt angreifen. Sehr gut. Super, danke schön. So. Oh, was ist hier unten? Schatzkiste. Sehr gut, jetzt sind in dem Gebiet hier nur noch zwei versteckt. Dann gehen wir jetzt aber direkt mal darüber und finden raus, was beim Stern so ist. That's Haria Village. To the inn, one and all. Hallo.
Erstmal wieder Kram zerlegen, so. Schade, das war's schon. Achso, hast du eigentlich neue Waffen oder so? Amphibolklinge. Ich nehme ich einfach mal mit und guck mal, wie ich sie aufwerten kann. Hm. Okay, die ist dich aus. Da komme ich nicht durch. noch eine Kiste. Und jetzt sind hier nur noch zwei Kisten irgendwo. Was sind das? Achso. <lacht> ah, da drüben. Und da oben ist noch so eine Katze. Na. Nicht genug. Sie hat so einen Stern auf dem Kopf. Hi. We could use a place to stay. Yep. Just been nicht so schlimm, wenn der da nicht right. kaputt Time to start deciphering this scroll. Let's wait somewhere outside so Grim can concentrate. Um, do you think maybe I could stay and watch? I really do want to study the ancient tongue. I promise I'll be quiet and not get in your way, teacher. What did you just say, child? Uh, that I'd be quiet and... No, what did you call me? Teacher, you said you didn't want to be called ma'am, so I thought maybe that'd work. Yes, satisfactory. All right, I'll teach you how to read ancient Averost. Thank you so much, teacher! We'll leave you two alone then. Let us know if anything comes up. Oh, jetzt sind hier ganz viele Sternendinger. Okay. So she digs being called teacher. Well played, Laffy said. She wasn't so fond of ma'am. So I guess he figured he needed an alternative. You can tell how badly he wanted to help her with the language he work. I think our Malak boy's finally finding himself. So it would seem. What connection do you think there is between the violent demon Teresa mentioned and this village? Couldn't tell you. Could there have been a demon blight? Whatever it is. If it keeps the Abbey's eyes off. You really will. Yep. And the Ich frage mich aber, wo die andere Kiste ist, die... Die letzte noch. Roter Salbei. Banning local religions. 
The Abbey sure knows how to oppress the populace. I'd imagine that comes part and parcel with spreading the good word. Other gods would only get in the way. From what we overheard, it sounds like they've taken over Amenocha's temple, Palamedes, to use as their base of operations. Sealing it off would be provocative enough. But straight up taking it over? Not a lot of so-called reason to that. Unless... Do you think they need it for some other purpose? Shrug. You don't need keys to this? Sounds like deciphering the text might take some time. We should be prepared to wait it out here a while. Hopefully it'll all be worth it in the end. I hope so too, but ancient Avarost is complex. It's not just a matter of knowing the grammar and vocabulary. Oh? Then how exactly do you read it? I'm not sure about the specifics myself, but from what I understand, you kind of have to intuit a lot of it. A language based on guesswork? Thanks, old dead people. You're officially the worst. <sighs> oh, ancient Avarost. You have the obstinacy of a spurned lover who refuses to move on. Even for you, teacher? It's this one crucial line. I can't wrap my head around it. Uh, well, from what you've taught me so far, it looks like it says... Sa... Popo... Mucho... Sancho. Correct, but if you merely translate it word for word, it ends up saying... The parent hates tomatoes. The child... Eggplants. <laughs> I doubt those have much to do with the Nominat. <laughs> yeah. Their grammar is nothing like ours. Sometimes you have to reorder the words, and even then the meaning can require leaps of logic and flashes of intuition. Reordering? So, like, San San? Pocho Pocho? Pocho Musan? Pocho Musan? Can you read it that way? Pocho Muson. Now where did you get that from? These words are lined up, like they repeat. And when I read this part that same way, it just felt right. Pocho Muson. Hmm, if that's repeated here, then the passage turns into... The Nameless Empyrean. Empyrean! Ho oh, ho, oh, that has to refer to Innominat. I think we're on to something. All right, so if we apply this rule here, then... Hmm, hmm. It would seem to be a book of children's counting songs. It's not about Innominat? What matters is what the song says, child. And I think you will be very interested in the words. Hmm. I wonder if they've made any progress yet. Shall we go check on them? Yeah, we go. We go first. Here, here. Hmm. Is the last kiss also not? Hmm. Well, any results? Yes. Well, thanks to the boy here. As it turns out, he has quite the knack for languages. <laughs> Only because I've got the best teacher. Careful, honey tongue. You'll give this old girl ideas. Huh? Now, child, I'm sure they're curious about the song we unearthed. 
Why don't you read it aloud? Yes, teacher. Song? Eight-headed is the lord of the land, with seven mouths to devour malevolence. Through pulses of earth doth base nature's flow, as he awaits the time of awakening. Four Empyreans may tear him asunder, but so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therians shall be forever reborn in sight of the full crimson moon. The nameless Empyrean hath one heart. The nameless Empyrean hath one body. Therians? Essentially, this ancient text you found is an annotated volume of drawings and songs pertaining to Enominot. Annotated? Then hurry up and just tell us what it means. I'm sorry. So far we've only figured out how to read the song lyrics. All right. I take it we're still in for a good long wait before it's thoroughly decrypted. Likely so, but if we want to find out what the Abbey is up to, we need to know what's in this book, no matter how long it takes. Hmm... What the Abbey's up to, is it? I think we can learn much, even from the lyrics alone. The drawings depict him with eight heads. One of them belongs to his main body. But the other seven are his mouths. Those mouths consume malevolence, sending it along earth pulses back to that main body so he can awaken. The seven monsters fitting that description are called... Therians. Right. Now as for this malevolence, I have no idea what that means. Hmm... What about the second part? I haven't studied much ancient history, but it said this world was created by four Empyreans, Earth, Water, Wind, and Fire. But they also call Enominot an Empyrean. Perhaps a war broke out between Enominot and the other Empyreans that resulted in him being sealed away. But if there is someone to connect with this divine power, the Therians will keep spawning. And just like that, Enominot will be revived. If we assume that Shepard Artorius fits that bill, and that he's trying to reawaken Enominot, everything lines up. Which means our job is to find these Therians and cut off Enominot's heads, so to speak. But where do we even start looking for them? Remember, the song states that the Therians and Enominot's body are connected through Earth pulses. If their job is to feed Enominot, the most effective place to position them would be at the Earth Pulse points. Points? The place is where the power of Earth Pulses is concentrated. Places with that sigil. Hey, remember the barrier that was keeping this bug in the forest? Wait, are you trying to say that thing's Aetherian? And yet... It would explain why the Abbey was keeping it locked up. And there was that same barrier at the villa, too. That's right. Do you suppose that was also a Therian? Does that mean the Therians all come in different forms? Should we go to Logris and check? We've just started deciphering the book. I'd hate to lose time on some fool's errand. I'd rather know at least a little more about what's in it before we make a move. Hmm. Something bothering you, Grim? This line. The one about Therians being forever reborn. Uh, I just felt the same thing as I did in Warg Forest! The needle's pointing in the direction of Amenoch's temple, Palamedes. Do I recall hearing that the Abbey took that over? 
Temples and ritual sites are often built on places thought to be rich in spiritual energy. Could the temple possibly be an Earth Pulse point? There's lots of Earth Pulse points scattered all over the world. If there's only seven Therians, most of them will be empty. It's not like we have any better leads. If there's even a chance, shouldn't we go check it out? Better than sitting around waiting on the book. If nothing else, we'll find out what Laffy said is sensing. Hmm. Just a theory, but if you were to kill a Therian... What? Hmm. I guess there's only one way to find out. Never mind. Good luck out there. Puh, was für eine Enthüllung irgendwie, was für eine Geschichte, weil Velvet ist auch so ein Theorien-Ding, richtig? Das heißt, müssen wir nicht Velvet auch vernichten? Hm. Sehr seltsam. Okay, wir gucken mal. Oh, das mit dieser einen Kiste wurmt mich irgendwie. Hm. Ich gucke trotzdem mal hier durch. Oh. Who are you? The innkeeper's daughter. I just... I happened to overhear you all talking about going to Palamedes and... Did you report us to the Abbey? Report? But you already have an exorcist with you. If you have any business, talk with her then. I... I'm Eleanor Hume. An exorcist with the Abbey. How might I be of service? I want you to look for someone. A mother and her child went to visit the Abbey grounds, but they haven't returned. They've both gone missing? Yes. The mother's name is Mahina. She's a priestess of Amanoch. And her little daughter's name is Kamoana. Hold on. If she's a priestess of Amanoch... Right. Ever since the Abbey booted her out from the temple, she's been regularly going back to make her objections heard. But one day, she never returned home. And now her daughter has disappeared too. I can only assume that she went to go look for her mother. And you believe they're being held at the temple? Oh no, ma'am. I just... I just can't imagine Mahina would abandon her daughter like that. Kamoana is next in line to succeed her, so she's had a strict upbringing, but her mother truly loves her. Please forgive Mahina for her protests. I was just hoping you could use the Abbey's resources to track them down. I will do everything in my power to find them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like Kamoana, I grew up with only my mother as family. I can't help but worry for them. Of course. Let's be off, Miss Exorcist. Okay. Wie ich gedacht habe, ist hier ein Speicherpunkt. Und hier befindet sich auch irgendwo eine Kiste. Was ist das? Deko. Okay. Und das bedeutet, dass ich mich von heute wieder von euch verabschiede. Ich habe ähm, euch wieder noch zwei Playlists mit hier ins Video gepackt. Schaut es euch einfach mal an. Und lasst gerne auch ein Abo da. Und wenn ihr Gefallen am Spiel gefunden habt und es selbst kaufen möchtet, im, in der Beschreibung finden sich zwei Links, wie ihr es sowohl für den PC als auch für 
Für die PS4 kaufen könnt natürlich mit Affiliate-Links. Ich danke euch für die Unterstützung und wünsche euch einen schönen Tag. Macht's gut, bis bald. Ciao.